Good morning, golf mates. As the title says, this is about my secret lessons. Yes. Now, if you would have watched yesterday's video, I had a complete shocker. I had a great idea for a video, but it went a bit peaked on because the way we're playing. Now, I've looked at the comments, and it's funny, the comments are like Liam, you're yeah, lime, this, that, and the other. Well, last week, I started some uh, were I had some lessons with a stranger. Well, I say a stranger, you'll know him, but you won't know him. Who I am as a person, it is not Dave the Pro and it's not OMP. Only because they're friends of mine and I'm a character who wants to... Well, I've got a short attention span, so I probably won't take in what they're saying. You might disagree with that, but that's, that's me as a character. So, last week I went for my first lesson. So this is my third lesson now, I'm practicing. So the video you seen yesterday was shot uh, the day before when I went, Phew, I need help. So come on, come and meet who's doing my lessons. Right, so this is a lad giving me lessons. <laughs> Morning golf mates. Only third lesson, Phil. Third lesson then, yeah. So a few big changes starting to happen, but still wanting to get them hands too far away from the body. So we're gonna to work today on redirecting the club a little bit better on the inside if you can keeping them hands close to the body because what I've seen on some of your videos you've done the last week or so the, the routine and setup's not quite right therefore making you do certain moves in the swing still right Mr Archer I'm back <laughs> just saw I've just told all the golf mates what on it were an off spec lesson how bad was it this morning um it wasn't horrendous but you weren't nothing was working together I mean, the, the body wasn't in the swing at all, so it was very, very handsy. You were losing the weight of the club on the way back and getting it stuck behind you, which made you redirect the club over the top. And you couldn't get club back on ball with any sort of efficiency or any weight into the back of the ball. So we've worked through getting you a little bit more dynamic in setup from both behind and in front. A little bit of tweaking on the left hand grip and just getting you working the club with the body first the body dictating rather than the hands because it's easier to repeat something with these six seven bigger muscles than it is with these 20 30 muscles in the hand so what you're going to see now is a clip from before and after and phil just doing a quick briefing and then we're going to get into my second lesson which probably is a lot more of the first lesson hi liam um you see you've all got all these pictures through and stuff so uh, first one really is just changing setup from behind just gaining a little bit more angle in that body, sticking the backside out a little bit so we're not sat down in the shot like we can see in the top picture. Um, and you kind of just freeze that little gap up there between the hands and the legs to uh, enable the shoulders to turn around the, turn around the body properly. And we can see in the, the, the next picture, second picture, again, in setup, we're looking at wider stance just to cover that upper body movement and the club being put in its natural position. You can see where it is in the top picture where it's kind of set back a little bit, which is going to add loft to it, make it a weaker weaker club, and you're not going to lead them hands through. So first two pictures really are just strength in setup, getting uh, you're looking a little bit more dynamic and as though you're going to hit the shot and getting the angles correct from behind so the shoulders can move properly. Right, second and third pictures here now. So we look at the second picture, one of the big, big ones really we change is the takeaway which is what you uh you like the most really as you can see here it's glaring how much you take it on the inside and how much the left arm starts to get stuck behind the body uh bottom picture is absolutely perfect which is late on in the first lesson we did you can see how you're kind of just controlling that club face left arm and club straight line and the hand just moving back very simple movement loads of room now for the club to go up steeper as we can move into the next picture the fourth picture where the hands go a little bit steeper therefore getting nice and high and above the right shoulder compared to the top picture where it gets a little bit flat and stuck behind you still so uh, again much better positions to be able to attack that ball like we talked about you just the backswing is about just setting the positions to be able to attack the golf ball so that's second and third okay mate fifth and sixth picture we're talking there this is on the downswing now so we start to initiate the turn of the shoulders dictating the start of the downswing not the hands which you can see in the top picture where it just flies at the ball getting outside the line and now everything's going to get stuck at impact we start to see the club coming down a little bit more from the inside straight back down rather than redirecting from the top and then you look at the next picture at impact 
where that big gap is there and the the arms and the club are in a straight line so it's gone out towards the golf ball the bottom picture is the exaggeration move that we talked about the Jimenez the Alex Noren move where the body starts turning the club exits to the left and then you can go into the just the the kind of follow through position the next picture where the hands in the top picture are going away from the body whereas the hands go around the body and the club stays in front so it's about getting that body out of the way and allowing the club to follow your movements not throwing them hands and then getting stuck at impact right, so what we're talking about on the way back you know, they relate a lot to tennis okay so if you're kind of in a position you see a tennis player and that's the goal swing on the way back is there, yeah? Yeah. And there's a tennis player. Okay? But you don't see a tennis player going. No, you don't, yeah. You don't, it's they're so just nice. basically like that, wound up, and then there's all the power. Yeah. So this is all the wind up, and there's the power. Yeah. But if we're not in control on the way back, then we have to make adjustments on the way through right. to get back to that ball. That's your feeling of nice and slow, it's just you're winding up. And that's just an effortless shot. Yeah? Yeah, that's effortless. That's effortless. That's lovely. Easy, mate. That's it again. Just shows better, doesn't it? Because you can hear it off the club, can't you? I mean, that, that's a good hit, that. I don't know what that is. Just goes distance wise, that. That was. I see the difference in that one. There you go, yeah. 155. Well, from a, try, from a 79 mile an hour swing. Is that because we're bigger muscles are missing the ball you now? Get, not doing well, this. your time, you, you can bigger muscles are, are dictating the shot, but also moving into the shot as you hit it. Yeah. So your, your weight is into the back of the ball. So the ball from a 79 mile an hour swing is coming off at 107 miles an hour. So the ball is just flying off. That's what it equals distance, and because that was full efficiency. If we go back to a swing up here where you don't get full efficiency, for the same, there you go, that one, 78.5, so it's 0.8 miles an hour faster, that swing. But look at the speed, the ball's come off 89 miles an hour. This one's come off at 107 miles an hour. So there's, there's a 0.8 mile an hour difference in speed of swing, but a 22 mile an hour difference in how the ball's come off. Okay, so that's the kind of difference in getting everything into the back of it, and that's why the ball fires off. You can swing as fast as you want, but if you don't get any body into it, it's only going to go as fast as you swing it. Yeah. Well, yeah. So that's that for me is probably one of your best swings you've just done. Yeah. 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 So can just with the sound, you can't do not. Yeah. Yeah. Plus yeah. it just fires off. That's it. One thing. Oh, there's there's a little bit more pace, and then we pull the fishes again. So now we want sixty. With this swing, with this kind of feeling of shorter. So that's carried 157 pitch. 157 pitch. I didn't try. That's only 80 mile an hour. We know you've got three or four mile an hour still in the bank if you want to, but that now is up at 157. Because that is, where's the ball speed? There you go, 109 mile an hour. That's just coming up. Right, so this is a lad giving me lessons. <laughs> Morning, golf mates. Only third lesson, Phil. Third lesson then, yeah. So a few big changes starting to happen, but still wanting to get them hands too far away from the body. So we're gonna to work today on redirecting the club a little bit better on the inside if we can, keeping them hands close to the body. Because what I've seen on some of your videos you've done the last week or so, the, the routine and setup's not quite right, therefore making you do certain moves in the swing still. So what he's saying really is, uh, I need to chill out before I take my shot and go for a routine. Yeah massively right i'm going, going to show you a small clip it to this because obviously it's a, it's a surprise for you as well as for me having lessons and i'm keeping it hush but after last night's video i thought i better come out with it right phil what have we just noticed well it, it was inching back in the stance your setup each time like the ball position uh, so did a video from the front there and then just showing you how far back in the stance sometimes it can People kind of think it's in the middle of the stance, but it's not, it's quite a bit in the back of the stance. So I've just told you to push it forward to the middle of the stance where seven iron should be played from. I always like sand iron to seven iron, stay in the middle, and then we slightly progress forward from six iron. And then you tell me, oh, 
that's where I've been playing it from. I've, I've been, been sticking it back that. in the stance. Two thousand balls, easy. Doing two thousand balls, trying to get the ball position back in his stance for some reason. Where this is the third lesson, and not once have I said ball position should be back in the stance. So you asked me why have you done this, and I said, well, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we we're, we're trying to figure but no, we did out it on purpose. where in Liam's brain this ball position's actually come from when we've not mentioned it, and then we've just gone back to the old videos from the two previous lessons and not once have we had a ball position back in the stance so from here to the practice ground you've transferred a ball position to the back of the stance. oh yeah i've been doing it on purpose <laughs> let's see what this lesson takes us now with a right ball position all right right well today's lesson really good probably best session we've done but we've worked on the body moving in the right way which is starting to do but still the hands and arms we wanted to get disconnected on the way down so today we've had the stick there alignment stick really kind of getting you concentrating on trying to redirect it underneath which you got you still got nowhere near yet but the club now rather than it moving we were whizzing it back here so the hands were in that position and then on the way down they were here they're now getting more here and just there so it's very slight redirection on the outside and we started to see some proper golf shots even from delivering club pass from the inside today which is great not across the golf ball and we're getting closer and closer into that impact position we want to see rather than the legs straightening up and the hands and arms in a straight position we're starting to see some angle now in the arms and the club and the body starting to get out of the way and you actually hit some proper drives today proper draw shots today which was great a few of these scuff ones again but getting rarer which is great and so we, your practice today is going to be alignment stick if possible where you're practicing ball position in the middle central <laughs> and not push back and then just really concentrating on that getting that body out of the way and working on that first move from the top okay cheers Paul. spot on mate so there's the big secret my third lesson right i cannot believe i am numb as a piss stone i have been practicing with the ball back of my stance i don't know why i did that i have uh, i have no idea i'm just an idiot but watch this i have put some practice in So that's without shadow of a doubt, 2,000 balls, maybe more, maybe 3,000 balls over a space of 10 days. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm here at Chalk Kamadi, bag of balls. Going to do some practice here, going to edit this video, then do some more practice on the way home. This week, you're not going to see me, I'm going to take myself away from camera and practice hard. But tomorrow, you've got young man Josh and OMP, I've got the day with them. Now, you ready? I'm going to do a little matches with each other, but also do like a little team match with them. See how low they can go with the best ball, you know, the best driver, the best tee shot. That should be fun. Also, I'm going to try and get Mr. Barlow on at night, maybe at Dunsker or something like that. So that should be fun. We'll get a catch up with Mr. Barlow. It needed. We need a bit of Mr. Barlow, don't we? Right, I'll show you my practices. Anyway, like I said, the reason I'm not going to OMP or Dave, I'm paying Phil. If here's Phil's details, he's at Poulton Park. I am paying him because I want to concentrate. With Dave, people coming in the shop and he's my mate. I just, I want full concentration and get myself going again. Right, so you've just seen two shots there, getting there, getting there, not 100% with my hips, but a lot more and good shots. But as soon as I take away the alignment stick, I'll have a look, I'll do one now. Right, so pre-shot routine, quickly, is ball, middle of the stance, hand to club. Yep, push, sort of backswing. 
there. That's what I want to do. But let's see with no help. That's not the if I nail one no. I'm going having some dinner. I've been out here an hour and a half. <laughs> there you go, I am 10 days into my lessons and training So like I said, you're not going to see me this week I'm going to have my head down But like I said, I'm going to do a lot of filming So thanks for understanding And I always say life is life, and it is Because I believe I'm capable of playing better golf I would like to play a bit better golf Is it the end of the world? No But I would just like to If that makes sense Anyway, wish me luck And you better wish Phil some luck Because he's going to need it as well See you tomorrow, all man Pat and Josh